In this video, I'll show you the biggest update that Premiere has received in years, and that is the new Object Mask tool that is currently available in Premiere Pro Beta. And this tool is a complete game changer for Premiere users. Let me show you why. So let's say we have a video of the person or the object that we want to mask and blur the background or even remove the background. Previously, that was simply not possible to do accurately and automatically without the help of After Effects. But now we have this new object mask tool that we can select. Then we select the video and in a preview, we just hover the cursor over the object and you can see that it gets highlighted in this red color. If we left click, it'll take a few seconds to properly highlight and even outline the object for us. Then in effect controls, we have a new section called Anna assigned masks and under there we will find our object mask 01 with all the tracking buttons so if we click track selected mask forward and backward we can now watch the tracking happen live and it's pretty quick and really really accurate. And after the tracking is done, all the tracking data will be contained inside of this object mask. And by default, that mask does not do anything. But the cool thing is that we can now assign the mask to effects. So let's open effects window and search for Gaussian blur. Then we add it to the video layer. And as we do, the unassigned mask gets automatically assigned to the Gaussian blur. If we zoom in, you can see that the object is now being blurred and the rest of the background is not getting affected. But if we check inverted option, now the background will get blurred and the object will remain perfectly visible. So if we crank the blurriness all the way, you can see now we can't see the background at all, but the object is still perfectly visible. The tricky part here is that now if we decide to delete the Gaussian blur effect, the mask that is assigned to it will also get deleted. So make sure you move the mask back to unassigned masks before you delete the effect. We can also assign the mask to the opacity by just dragging it into the opacity. And what that will do, it will actually remove the object for us because we have the inverted option selected from the previous example. So let's undo that. And what that will do, it will remove the background from the video and leave just the subject that we've masked. And this is perfect for adding text or other stuff behind objects in the scene for removing the backgrounds from the video or even creating transparent video directly in Premiere Pro and I will be releasing all of those tutorials on my channel so subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you there.